Well, uh, I was going to introduce my indicator. Uh, the um, SS stand for my name. FFCV version 8.5. Okay, what it does is is it looks at the fast last so many candles are specified in your uh, indicator parameters. Uh, the fault setting is six, and um, I've done some extensive research and discovered that six between five and seven, six, five, seven candles, uh, daily candles, is about the optimum you're going to get for predicting the uh, next daily candle. Okay, so this represents the predicted next daily candle. Okay. And it uses several methods to determine direction. Um, it simply averages out the wicks and the body to determine the candle shape. And um, so this is like the average wick size, the average hand wick size, the average body for the last six odd candles. And it just says, just puts them at the, at the spot where we opened for the day okay now if we close at a different spot to where we open we can just use the uh, shift o parameter to move to the uh, different position um often makes a difference on a monday when uh, you've got quite a lot of slippage you should pay attention to this up here what we're using here is the rsi at the moment to determine direction Okay, and the RSI values for the previous day were 46 compared to today, which is 58. Which means, which means that we're heading up. In other words, this day, the uh, relative strength index was uh, a value of 46 for the day. Right, and on this day, the relative strength index was 58. Okay, which is obviously due to the... In, uh, meteoric rise here but that suggests that we're going to have another rise and we can see that we've got the pull back and then we're heading up again so it would seem pretty obvious sometimes these things aren't as obvious as what they make out but we've got several different methods we use for direction and the method that i like if you use the m key is the majority method which is just simply looks at all the methods that are currently in the program and determine which one gets the most flags and uh, here we've got seven bull flags and two bear flags All right and uh, our equity in this account is 48,000 uh, so for a two percent lot size a two percent risk we're looking at a lot size of 2.58 and uh, that's 104 pips to 26 pips would be the risk. Uh, current exchange rate of $1.44 Aussie to US. And um, so with a 2.58 lot size, uh, we, risk, we can risk 2%, which is uh, $961, for a possible reward of 3848 now this is using the majority um, uh, method for determining direction. I found this one to be fairly, well, it's better than the others. This is the Haikanashi. You can see both are green, so they're both predicting up. That's using the uh, higher body uh, compared to the lower body for the daily candles. So uh, basically if the higher body is uh, is increasing over the five days compared to the lower body then um you know if the if the higher if basically if the if the higher body higher part of the body is closer to the entry point than the lower part of the body then we're moving up if the entry point is closer to the lower part of the body then we're moving down now the reason for that is is that the Entry point is normally considered the closest point to equilibrium as the um, as prices move. That's the theory behind that. Now, if we move to the next 
we've got the high low which is basically the same as the body except we're using the wicks as well the high low we see where that is compared to the entry point and we determine direction based on that now sometimes they can be against each other and this is using the exponential moving average this uh, has a exponential moving average which it uses to determine the direction uh, basically if the entry point is above that ex uh, exponential moving average then it's it's going up if it's below it's going down and uh, so yeah so the majority there and on this particular case we've got a seven to two that that's not you know there's no certainty about that uh, but it's just based on the probabilities then it would seem that there's a strong uh, probability for an up candle we've also got the RSI relative strength index numbers there agreeing with us this gives us an idea of where we can what the current if we put an entry point here if we use E repeatedly we can get different entry points so that would be for like the open that's halfway down the wick and uh, that would be the um, lower the least or the, the greatest benefit for the elite well the same risk for these but yeah we can actually set the uh, stop loss to be at that location and just moving to the other locations we use the shift in we can use and you can see the values up here will change we'll get a different lot size now because we, we still want our two percent risk we don't want that to increase that and we see now that we're getting uh, 1.5 to 1 is the, is the reward to risk if we move that down we get 2.4 to 1 we're still risking the same amount two percent but our lot size will change 1.74 so that's a handy little feature um, if you want to put in several trades you can do it and each time i do this it creates a script to uh, for me to enter a trade so if i want to enter a pending trade based on where that where that current uh, entry point is i then just simply go into my scripts and click the FFCV trade and uh, you'll see there then a trade automatically occurs there 1.73 lot size and that's going to be our entry point and uh, we've got a uh, and the reason why I picked that entry point is because you can see at the start of the day you've moved down there it's it's it's, it's perfect with this this uh, this previous high here it already has touched it so there's no guarantee it's going to come back down here in fact uh, it could come down for a double top double double touch for it head up that would be my scenario there the other one of course uh, that you could pick is if I if I hit E again it would be down here and if you have a look at that you can see that that lines up pretty nicely with the tops of these candles here which is also another nice entry point also comes in nicely with this uh, exponential moving average which is a 55 on the hourly chart 55 which is you know your typical um, Fibonacci number there and you got your 21 here which, uh, is often quite accurate in uh, picking the uh, candle up moves you can see here it often touches that candle before it moves in the direction <laughs> which it did here so that would be a nice entry point this would be another nice entry point and if we want to move it to a specific entry point we can it's just simply a case of uh, moving the entry point four times and then you just click on a position if you want to move it to a specific position for your entry point and it changes these values automatically to the new lot size so i could then go ahead and put in another trade here just by clicking on my uh, script which has been updated and there we go Got another trade here and this is at 1.43 
and so we're risking the same amount uh, and that would be very close to the open all right so that gives you just a just a short run through uh, there, there are lots of other features um, I'll, I'll show you some of these other features one of them is if you wanted to put a um, trade on and you wanted the uh, at market price you just do a shift M and it will move the trade to the market price keeping the risk to be the same if you wanted uh, shift M will again toggle it back if you wanted to uh, keep that uh, stop loss position shift N and then uh, shift M and that will move it to the uh, market price and we can see then here what we're dealing with we've got one almost a one-to-one -one risk reward is almost exactly the same which to me is not a good uh, not a good trade so I generally wouldn't go for that sort of trade but it does give you the option of knowing if, if you consider this to be a safe stop loss what your current uh, risk reward would be if you entered in a market trade keeping that stop loss it does though change your lot size so you're still only risking the same amount but your reward now is pretty well the same amount so you probably prefer these penny trades except obviously there's a chance you may not even get that penny trade okay um yeah so feel free to comment and uh, I'll do some more uh, I'll do another um, video on all the various options that you can select for this particular trading indicator I'll just show you what they look like at the moment most of what you need to do you can do just simply using keys um, we've also got I'll just show you a couple more the P key which changes your profit positions and you can also of course um, if you do that four times you can also just click and press the P to click uh, you got to get the right number Yes, there is a way of actually putting this profit to a particular spot when you press, when you click on it. But, uh, yeah, I have to. Yes, <laughs> these indicators always need more work. Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, well, there's lots I could show you, uh, but in the time, I'll just show you all the various options that you've got here. Um, you can see it's quite extensive, so it could take some time. One of the major ones though that you want to think of is here, the candles. These are the number of daily candles that are uh, used to predict the, predict the average candle. And that I've determined from extensive research. Um, okay, so that, that's all I've discussed today. Um, uh, there's one other feature I wouldn't mind showing you. And that's where you can swap the risk the entry with the, with the stop loss, which is very handy and often quite Shift 
decals. We'll swap the um, the um, stop loss with an entry point. We can put our stop losses the, the same amount, a little bit further down. And if you've been trading for as long as I have, you'll realise that often that is exactly what happens. <laughs> okay. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, introduction to my uh, indicator. Simon signing out. Thank you.